Hello, my name's Simon and uh, I'm a lecturer in ESOL at the college here, you may have seen me. And I'm going to show you how to um, access the VLE uh, from the Wigan and Lee College web page. Um, firstly, what you need to do is to access the web page at www.wigan-lee.ac.uk and this will bring up this particular web page. The first thing you need to do is to click on students, which you'll find in the top right hand corner. And once you've clicked on that, you'll see this page. Now the important icon that you need to access is this one here that says VLE. VLE stands for the Virtual Learning Environment and I'll click on this and it might ask you to log in with your login details and you'll see this page. On this page you'll have a whole wealth of information and things that you can access to support you here in college in terms of car park registrations or accessing the, uh, the chaplaincy team um, or also um, searching for books on the library. Uh, one particular thing here at the top is your student profile. Uh, it's called On Track. If you click on this, you can access information about your attendance and punctuality. And if you go further down, if you have a car and you want to uh, register your car to use in the car park, and you need to do this um, if you have a car and you want to use the college car park, you can access car park registration. One thing that's very useful on the VLE is to access books that you might want to see and you might be useful for your course. Uh, it says search college catalogue. If you click on that, and we can have a look at uh, any particular books. Uh, one favorite particular book is New English File. Um, if it's uh, pre-intermediate, for example, that you're using, you can type the name of the book here at the top in the search engine and click go and this will give you information about where the book is stored. This particular book, there's no um, results found, so we'll try a different one. Um, and this is not just in Wigan, but it's also in Lee, and uh, there'll be some books that are available in Wigan, uh, but are not available in Lee, and vice versa. And then we can access those. And if you have a look here, there are a number of books, New English File, Intermediate, Workbook, um, New English File, Elementary, and you can reserve these books um, at the College um, Learning Resources Centre and pick them up there. Now going back to the VLE, if we can just click back to this page, uh, one useful um, icon to click um, is uh, for the your ESOL course is to click all courses here on the right hand side and it brings up a search engine. Now in the search engine I want you to type Every day English. So it's not ESOL, but everyday English. And if you click on go, the results bring up everyday English beginners, everyday English E1, E2, E3, level one, and some extra ones for Lee at the bottom as well, beginners, entry level one and entry level two. Uh, to access the resources and materials that uh, we have here stored on the VLE, uh, you just need to enrol for one of these courses. Uh, so for example, with the beginners, um, you can click on the link and it says, enrol me. And then you click on the link and then it brings up resources and course material related to your course, useful links to websites to help you practice for your um, English course and to improve and, uh, and help you be the best student you can be. Uh, for example, you can click on beginner's course material. There's help with the alphabet in spelling here. Click on that. There's some more resources online. And you can also um, click for additional practice family members and the possessive S. Click on that and there's some more resources there for you to practice. And whichever level you're studying at, there will be extra 
help, extra practice and links to other websites to uh, improve your skills uh, whilst you study your ESOL course here at the college. Um, but please try to use this uh, VLE as much as possible. There's so much more information about well-being um, and about um, um, chaplaincy. And if you can have a look at the student union, and um, you've also got um, forms and, and help, help with your maths and your English. And if you're going on to study at GCSE, there's a whole range of information there for you as well. So thank you.